Huawei just said goodbye to Android for good. Starting next year, the tech giant will roll out its Harmony OS Next, a homegrown operating system that's 100% Android free. It's a bold move that could redefine the smartphone market, but will users embrace this new ecosystem? Let's see what this means for Huawei, its users, and the tech industry. Since 2019, Huawei has been gradually distancing itself from US technology, following trade restrictions and Google's exit from its ecosystem. Its Harmony OS began as an Android-based platform, but now, Huawei is taking full control with Harmony OS Next. This isn't just a software update, it's a complete departure from the Android framework. The stakes are high, but the goal is an independent ecosystem that can compete with the giants. Unlike the earlier Harmony OS versions, which borrowed heavily from Android, Harmony OS Next is built entirely in-house. This independence means no Google Apps, no Android compatibility, and an entirely new app ecosystem. Huawei claims to have 10,000 apps already ready for the launch, with a target of 100,000 in the coming months. But here's the challenge, convincing everyone to leave behind the familiarity of Android. Developers will need to rewrite their apps specifically for Harmony OS Next, a move Huawei is actively incentivizing. This isn't just about innovation, it's about survival. Trade restrictions cut Huawei off from Google services, pushing the company to develop its own solutions. By moving to Harmony OS Next, Huawei is eliminating any reliance on US technology. This decision also positions Huawei to appeal to nationalistic sentiments in its home market of China, where Android alternatives are gaining traction. With over 375 million smartphone users in China, Huawei has a massive domestic market to test its own ecosystem. Huawei's shift signals a broader trend in the tech world. Companies building proprietary software ecosystems to reduce reliance on third parties. Google, Apple, and Samsung already dominate their ecosystems, and now Huawei wants a slice of the pie. If they are successful, this could set a precedent for other manufacturers looking to break free from Android. Google, Amazon, and Samsung already have ecosystems that account for a significant share of the global smartphone market. Building an independent operating system isn't easy. Harmony OS Next faces two major hurdles, user adoption and developer support. Without Android compatibility, Huawei needs to convince everyone to switch to an entirely new operating system while encouraging developers to create apps for the platform. If it falls short on either front, this could be a risky gamble with kind of massive consequences. Harmony OS Next won't ship with the Mate 70 series initially, but they're saying users can upgrade later, giving them time to adjust. One less obvious aspect of this shift is the environmental cost. Building a new operating system requires resources for development, testing, and marketing. Older devices that don't support Harmony OS Next might be discarded prematurely contributing to e-waste. Huawei could mitigate this by ensuring a smooth transition and long-term support for their older devices. So what does this mean for Huawei? This is their shot at reclaiming their position as a global smartphone leader. For users, it's a chance to explore a new operating system, but it also means leaving behind the comfort of Android. And for the industry, this could mark the beginning of a shift towards tech companies building fully independent platforms. Huawei's departure from Android is a bold move that could either revolutionize the smartphone industry or leave it struggling to stay relevant. What do you think? Is Harmony OS Next the future or is Huawei biting off more than it could chew? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Would you switch to a Huawei device with Harmony OS Next? Do you think their Android free strategy will actually pay off? And how important is having a fully independent ecosystem in today's tech world? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And thanks for watching. And I'll I'll catch you in the next one.